Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Jet Boot Jack on the Acorn BBC Micro, yes! Um, I used to have this back in the day on the Amstrad CPC 464 and it was a very good game. Also reviewed it on the Commodore 64, that was a good version. And let's see how it plays on the BBC. Um, I've had a test run of it. The only thing you can't do, unfortunately, is refund the keys because this is emulated and it can be a bit of a bastard to use keys um, unless I remap them and I don't know how to do that. Right, um, space bar, you can skip level. Right, right so you push shift, you can start on whatever level you want. Level 5 is the hardest. P is sort of, I suppose it's like a practice level but it ain't. Um, Right, it's a good level to start with. Um, return to start the game. Right, okay. So, yeah, excuse me, the object of the game mm, is to collect all the musical notes without, kill, without getting killed. Um, those pink things give you extra energy. Ecstasy, I almost said ecstasy there for some reason. No. So you've got to avoid the the rocks up up the top there because you will smash your head and um, hit the lift instead. Right, you don't have to restart the level, which is always a plus. So if you stand around too much, um, you lose more energy. So you've got to always try and be moving. There's a way you can speed up the lifts. But I think I've got, because it's, it's emulated. Oh fuck, I forgot the duck. Um, the key I want, you have to use in conjunction with shift. Well, on the BBC Micro, you don't. So let's try. Oh, pause it. How did I do that? How did I pause it? Right, that's it. Oh, that's a conveyor. Right, so that's level one done. Uh, I have to say the BBC's a very good version. Shit. No, it ain't shit. It's a good version to play. I mean, if you've got a real BBC Micro, then hunt this one down and give it a play. Well worth it. Or if you want to remap the keys on an emulator, then do that also. Oh. To go up. Ooh. Nice and colourful on the BBC. Actually, they're all worse. Right, so. Need to get on the. Um, there we go. Get, need to get on the bottom level there. There we go. Oh shit! Damn it! Ah! Ah! Fucked up there. level um, um, the first level I can jump to level well zero level I can jump straight to level one now and replay this level I 
<laughs> the versions that I played, the Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64 and the BBC version all look virtually the same graphic wise. Just set for different colours, that's it. And sound effects. But all three versions look identical. And they all pretty much play the same. Which is good. I don't know what it came out on first. Oh, I need to go down. Right, okay, I need to go down to the bottom. So I'll get on that one. Right, I need to wait for that lift to come back. So I need to judge this. Ah, shit! Yeah, I need to judge it and I'll do it completely wrong. <laughs> Right, okay. So duck straight away. Yeah, here we go. So now if I wanted to, I can skip to this level. Oh, fuck it. Ooh. I don't know if many per people have heard of this game back in the day. But it's def definitely one to check out. Definitely. I'd say it's one of those hidden gems. Ah, oh, bollocks. I don't know if this come out on anything else. Out of, out of fuel? Right, what I'm going to show you, we we'll have one more game of this. I'm going to show you what it would be like on um, the hardest level. So that's level five. So you get an idea. Now we've got little creatures up in the top there. They move around. So it makes it a lot difficult. And you start off with less energy. And it doesn't replenish. Bollocks. So yes, it's very challenging on the hardest level, out of fuel. And once you're out of fuel, that's completely game. It's completely game over. Um, I think you do have five lives to start off with. Obviously, if you lose five lives, it's game over. Or if you run out of fuel, it's game over. But I would definitely recommend this game. It's very good, very addictive. Um, as I said, it came out on the Amstrad CPC, the Commodore 64, and the BBC Micro. I don't know if it came out on anything else, but if it does, I'll probably check it out and see what they're like. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.